Welcome to Threadlife Stadium here in New York, home of the Tyrants. Well, they really cleaned up Times Square, huh? I kind of miss the sea of wandering zombies and the stench of the open zombie landfills. And they had this nice all-you-could-shoot zombies in a barrel arcade, I remember. Yeah, that was in a good old days, Grim. Now it's just a tourist attraction. Paint shows and organized crime. <laughs> now this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Los Scandalous Dam take on the New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man. I was scared of one silly. I was hell of a silly. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally, you don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. Cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now, and he's going to try and score. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Second down and long. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he just slipped him. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She had 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her Lord intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, you're telling me. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know. What? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten that's a 
killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. should throw it and catch it too. And that'll be second down and four. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are... And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And that'll be second and eight to go. 
I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third down and five. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. First and two. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a... You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these reps any ideas, you idiot. Well, I guess they have some... Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here, come on. The defense called a one-speed dirty trick, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. something going here and it's first and ten they've used a strawberry fields dirty trick <laughs> those guys don't know which way forward is now he picks up eight yards on that pass second down and two the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten
this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He's at the 30, the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work breaks. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down in a very lot. They call the war speed dirty brick. He's so fast he wants his 60 minutes and six. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. His timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim. You gotta use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt but he seems to have worked through it. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> Second down and long. A brutal hit. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You're talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. What a hit that was. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. for a first down. First and four. This is your brain, and this is your brain on... And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well... Second down and two. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. He refuses to go down. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death, maybe he can shock you back to life after. Yeah, I'm not sure it works that way in the end. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Yeah. 
First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and four. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in bread. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. short pass second down and seven hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down and two. a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. First and eight to go. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. He had it for a second there. Third.
are down in eight. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! I'm not saying the rap has been rhymed, but he threw it out of the field in a brand new purse. Oh, boy, there. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Second down and five. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight.
Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two. And the two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, he just got crushed. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Oh, with the punishing hit. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Dang, guys. Look at the path he's taking up field. Yeah, he's taking a cycle path, man. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's, and the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. B. for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than you. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. <laughs> the Tyrants defeat their opposition and walk away triumphant. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, blah, blah. You suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Hey, man, nobody can cut you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's